Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're taking a somber journey through time to remember some of the remarkable celebrities who passed away on July 7th throughout the years. Veronica Lake, 1922 to 1973. Our first star is the unforgettable Veronica Lake, who passed away on July 7, 1973, at the age of 50. Born on November 14, 1922, Lake was one of the most popular actresses of the 1940s, known for her iconic peekaboo hairstyle and sultry on-screen presence. Lake's breakout role came in the 1941 military comedy, I Wanted Wings, where her small part as a vamp made a big impression on audiences. She quickly became one of Paramount Pictures' top stars, appearing in a string of film noir classics like This Gun for Hire, The Glass Key, and The Blue Dahlia, often alongside Alan Ladd. Her unique hairstyle, with long blonde locks cascading over one eye, became so popular that the U.S. government asked her to change it during World War II. They were concerned that women working in factories might copy the look, risking injury from machinery. Despite her early success, Lake's career declined in the late 1940s due to a combination of personal problems and changing audience tastes. She struggled with mental illness and alcoholism, eventually leaving Hollywood for a quieter life. In her later years, Lake attempted a comeback but found little success. She passed away from hepatitis and acute kidney injury, leaving behind a legacy as one of film noir's most iconic leading ladies. Dor Sherry, 1905-1980 Next, we remember Dor Sherry, who died on July 7, 1980, at the age of 74. Sherry was a prolific figure in the entertainment industry, working as a director, producer, and screenwriter during Hollywood's golden age. Born on August 31, 1905, in Newark, New Jersey, Sherry began his career as a playwright before moving to Hollywood in the 1930s. He quickly made a name for himself as a talented screenwriter, winning an Academy Award for Best Original Story for the 1938 film Boys Town. Sherry's career reached new heights when he became head of production at MGM Studios in 1948. During his tenure, he oversaw the production of numerous classics, including An American in Paris, Singing in the Rain, and Bad Day at Black Rock. Known for his preference for message films that tackled social issues, Sherry often clashed with MGM's longtime studio head Louis B. Mayer, who favored more escapist fare. This conflict eventually led to Mayer's ouster in 1951, with Sherry taking over as the studio's production chief. After leaving MGM in 1956, Sherry continued to work in various capacities in the entertainment industry. He returned to his roots in live theater, producing and directing several Broadway shows, including the Tony Award-winning Sunrise at Campobello. Sherry's impact on Hollywood and his commitment to socially conscious filmmaking make him a significant figure in cinema history. Bill Cullen, 1920 to 1990. On July 7, 1990, the world lost Bill Cullen, one of the most prolific game show hosts in television history. He was 70 years old. Born on February 18, 1920, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Cullen overcame significant physical challenges, including a lip caused by a childhood bout with polio, to become one of the most recognizable faces on American television. Cullen's career in broadcasting began in radio, where he worked as a disc jockey and announcer. He made the transition to television in the early 1950s, quickly establishing himself as a charismatic and quick-witted game show host. Throughout his career, Cullen hosted more than 25 different game shows, including The Price is Right, The Original Version, To Tell the Truth, and The $25,000 Pyramid. His versatility and affable personality made him a favorite among viewers and contestants alike. In addition to hosting, Cullen was also a regular panelist on shows like I've Got a Secret, and what's my line? His sharp mind and gentle humor made him a perfect fit for these intellectual guessing games. Cullen's contributions to television were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. He continued working in television until shortly before his death, leaving behind a legacy as one of the medium's most enduring personalities. Mia Zapata, 1965-1993 our next remembrance is for Mia Zapata, 
lead singer of the punk rock band The Gits, who tragically passed away on July 7, 1993, at the young age of 27. Born on August 25, 1965, in Louisville, Kentucky, Zapata moved to Seattle in the late 1980s, where she formed The Gits with three friends. The band quickly became a fixture in Seattle's underground music scene, known for their raw, powerful sound and Zapata's emotive vocals. The Gits released their debut album, Frenching the Bully, in 1992, and were on the verge of signing with a major label when tragedy struck. Zapata was found murdered in Seattle, a crime that went unsolved for over a decade and shocked the music community. In the wake of her death, Zapata's friends and fellow musicians formed Home Alive, a self-defense and violence prevention program. Her story also inspired benefit concerts and albums, including a tribute record featuring Nirvana and Pearl Jam. While her life was cut tragically short, Zapata's powerful voice and the impact of her music continue to inspire musicians and fans alike. Fred Neal, 1936 to 2001. On July 7, 2001, the music world lost Fred Neal, an influential folk singer, songwriter, and guitarist. He was 65 years old, born on March 16, 1936, in Cleveland, Ohio. Neal was a key figure in the Greenwich Village folk scene of the 1960s. His deep baritone voice and introspective songwriting style influenced countless musicians, including Bob Dylan, Tim Buckley, and Jefferson Airplane. Neal's most famous composition is undoubtedly Everybody's Talkin', which became a hit for Harry Nilsson when it was used as the theme for the film Midnight Cowboy. The song earned Neal a gold record, but by that time, he had largely retreated from the music industry. Other notable songs by Neil include The Other Side of This Life and The Dolphins, both of which have been covered by numerous artists over the years. Despite his talent and influence, Neil was known for his reclusive nature. He largely withdrew from public life in the 1970s, focusing instead on his passion for dolphin conservation. While he may not be a household name, Fred Neal's impact on folk and rock music is undeniable, and his songs continue to be discovered and appreciated by new generations of listeners. Dorian Lee, 1917-2008 Next, we remember Dorian Lee, one of the world's first supermodels, who passed away on July 7, 2008, at the age of 91. Born on April 23, 1917, in San Antonio, Texas, Lee began her modeling career relatively late, at the age of 27. Despite this, she quickly became one of the most sought-after models of the 1940s and 1950s. Lee appeared on numerous magazine covers, including seven Vogue covers in 1946 alone. She worked with some of the most renowned photographers of her time, including Irving Penn and Cecil Beaton. Known for her versatility, Lee could embody a wide range of looks and styles. She was one of the first models to become a celebrity in her own right, paving the way for future generations of supermodels. After retiring from modeling, Lee opened her own modeling agency and wrote several cookbooks. Her autobiography, The Girl Who Had Everything, was published in 1980. Dorian Lee's influence on the fashion industry and her role in elevating the status of models make her a pivotal figure in fashion history. Maria Barroso, 1925-2015 On July 7, 2015, Portugal lost Maria Barroso, a respected actress and political figure. She was 90 years old, born on July 2, 1925, in Fuseta, Portugal, Barroso began her career as an actress in the 1940s. She appeared in numerous plays and films, becoming a well-known figure in Portuguese culture. However, Barroso's life took a different turn due to her marriage to Mirio Soares, who would later become the president of Portugal. As the country struggled under the authoritarian Estado Novo regime, Barroso became involved in opposition politics alongside her husband. After the Carnation Revolution in 1974, which brought democracy to Portugal, Barroso continued her involvement in public life. She served as the First Lady of Portugal during her husband's presidency from 1986 to 1996. Throughout her life, Barroso was known for her commitment to social causes, particularly education and children's welfare. 
She founded the Pro Dignitate Foundation for Human Rights and was a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador. Maria Barroso's life spanned a crucial period in Portugal's history, and her contributions to both the arts and public service left a lasting impact on her country. Robert Downey Sr., 1936-2021 Our final remembrance is for Robert Downey Sr., who passed away on July 7, 2021, at the age of 85. Born on June 24, 1936, in New York City, Downey was an actor, director, and the father of Hollywood star Robert Downey Jr. He made his mark in the world of independent cinema, known for his absurdist and often controversial films. Downey began his career in the 1960s, directing avant-garde films that became cult classics. His 1969 satire, Putney Swope, about an African-American taking over a Madison Avenue advertising agency, is considered his breakthrough and remains his most well-known work. As an actor, Downey appeared in numerous films, including To Live and Die in Late and Boogie Nights. He also had a recurring role on the TV series The Twilight Zone. Downey's unconventional approach to filmmaking influenced a generation of independent directors. He was known for his wit, irreverence, and willingness to tackle taboo subjects. In his later years, Downey Sr. battled Parkinson's disease, a struggle he documented in his autobiographical film Sr., released posthumously. While he may be best known to some as the father of Robert Downey Jr., Robert Downey Sr.'s contributions to independent cinema ensure his own place in film history. And there you have it, eight remarkable individuals who left us on July 7th. Their legacies continue to influence and inspire us today. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and talent. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And let us know in the comments which of these celebrities you'd like to learn more about. Until next time, keep celebrating the stars who shaped our world. Goodbye.